Well, welcome back. We're going to be finishing up our exploration of moving from flash symbols to edge animate symbols. In this exercise, what we're going to do is take this guy and move him along the path. Now, a couple of things I want you to be aware of. First thing is, he's a symbol. So if I pull him across, you can see he walks. But what I want him to do is move. And I don't want him to move from this point here, which is just under his shirt collar. I want to move, have the animation happen along the shadow here. What I'm going to do is select the symbol, and then I'm going to take the origin point, which is this blue box or this blue dot right in the middle of a symbol, and I'm going to move it down to this point right here. Now this is where the animation will happen. So as we move them along the path, the animation will be key to the movement of the shadow, not the movement of his shirt color. Okay, so we've done that, and we don't need a keyframe, so I can take that out. And now we can concentrate on putting him in motion. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit here. Now the first step in the process, of course, is to identify the start point of the animation. So I'm going to move him to this point here. And I'm going to select motion paths, and that's fine. It's going to remove the XY motion, don't mind. And we'll orient them to the path. And now what I'm going to do is light up the pin, select the pin, and then I just move the playhead. Now you notice the orange is pointing towards where the motion is going to go. So I'm going to come out to the five second mark, and over five seconds he's going to move from here to here. And you can see that just by rewinding and pressing the space bar, and you can see he walks. Now he sort of glides there, but you get the point. We'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so we've got him done. So we're going to come back to the start. And you notice he passes in front of the tree. He actually should pass behind the tree. So I'm going to come to the elements panel and move the symbol between the tree front and the tree. So we'll just grab the symbol, that layer. There he is. And if I scrub across the timeline, you can see he will move behind the tree. Now, as he moves from here to here, he's moving off into the distance, so that means that he's also going to be shrinking. So again, we're going to pull the playhead out to the end of the animation, and what I'm going to do is shrink him down to about 45% of his size. So I can use the transform property here to reduce the size. We'll take him to about 45%. And if I Click Rewind and then just scrub across the timeline. You can see that he passes behind the tree and it fades off into the distance. Now we're going to have him follow the path. Because it's a motion path, we can put the cursor over the path and start adding points to the path where the path changes direction. So I just click on the path, pull the point down, and I'll just take the finish point and do that. And let's see how that works. Much better. Okay, now that we've done that, obviously he only walks once. Well, we can fix that one too. So I'm going to turn off the pin. And we're going to come to the end of the first little walk sequence. And you can see we've got a playback here. So all I have to do is click on this little Add Playback command and tell it where to play from. And it goes into the symbol, and I just select that Start Frame. And then I just keep moving along the timeline. And just telling it to play from the start for each of the little motion segments. I've got one more to do. And you can see it's a little bit long there. That's fine. I can just pull out the transition strip and everything will move with it. And if we come back and press the, sp the space bar to play it, you can see that he walks along the path. And as he walks along the path, it gets smaller, and off he goes. 
So there you go. There's creating an animation sequence using a flash symbol, taking the symbol, creating a sprite sheet, using the sprite sheet to create motion and animate, and then putting the symbol in motion on the animate timeline.